Welcome to this new episode of uh, Free Cat. Uh, my name is Regis, and I'll be your host through this video. So, um, I think we're going to continue on what we were working on last time, where we uh, created this plan. Uh, I'm going to try to touch on the 3D aspects now. Uh, how you um, take a plan like this and turn it into 3D um, should be very simple. And uh, also, I have a few uh, pictures of another small project which I'm doing just to test things out um, so as you can see how just show you how things kind of evolve from this abstract way of visualizing things and and um, it changes you know um, here I was testing out the 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 texture hatch in FreeCAD um, it didn't work very well so uh, you know FreeCAD is still in progress so I decided to go with this kind of visual look which is still alright but you can see how I had to f you know the, f the floor plan was sort of noisy at first and slowly and surely you begin to find some kind of pattern that emerge into very complex um, shaped uh, plan like you see here so it's very interesting and then all of a sudden you begin to pull the walls out one by one and uh, it starts to provide you with an idea of what you're actually working with and this is can be what we kind of could expect from this kind of uh, exercise so I'm gonna jump immediately into it so this is the plan that we we're working with last time so I like to go to the, uh, the axonometric view um, here to kind of also appreciate it from this angle. Um, so one of the easiest way that I can start to work with this is uh, the reason why I created this closed fields last time is because it's easier, it's a lot easier to just extrude these kinds of walls and so this is the most basic way of working with FreeCAD uh, so to speak so what I can do for example is I can select each piece and just click on the wall and it's as you see it would just take the flat shape um, and extrude it upward um, this is a very smart way of working with FreeCAD see this is the reason why uh, when we were drawing let me give you an example um, in FreeCAD any shape can be a wall so if I can create this kind of uh, abstract shape here and just to take an example uh, well actually let me just duplicate that copy here move that to the side here uh, so in this one I'm going to tell it to make a face false so you would see that here for example if I click on the wall I can I can create a wall that's virtually of any um, of any form or shape or size and obviously I can always increase the height of the wall uh, w but if you don't give it a face um, you know it's going to create the wall around the wire instead so this is something that you should keep in mind when you're working and this is what we're going to be working with in, in the second way that I'm going to show you how to create this kinds of wall so um, but for now let me just hide that and hide that go back to uh, zoom in here for a moment so here as you can see I just extruded that wall and here I can just extrude this other wall um, just by clicking on the wall and here same thing here same thing here the same thing and here the same thing so very quickly I have a I have a um, a 3d uh, wall extrusion and for the windows for example let's say I want to work with this opening um, if this were a very generic model where I'm just trying to quickly visualize what my building is going to look like without worrying too much about the accuracy of of uh, let's say every aspect of, of the building itself this is the way I'm going to be modeling it so I'm not going to try to be specific with uh, too specific with the wall so here I can actually come here and model a very simple uh, window uh, let me show you how to do it so I'm gonna just make sure I'm on the plane so auto um, I'm gonna select my plane 
I want to give it a top top plane so I can sketch on the floor. Um, so maybe go to perspective view, uh, perspective. Okay, so I can see both corners easily. So I'm gonna just draw a square here. All right. Um, so I probably want my wall this to be a very short wall because this was a three meters wall tall and just for the sake of this example I'm just going to create a, uh, a window that's one meters high or actually wait uh, let me just create a, a, a small wall so like that create a very small wall this wall is going to be one meter from the ground all right and so I want to use the same plane to create uh, a second wall um, so this is something that's interesting with FreeCAD is that you can use the same profile to create many objects so that's something I want I'm going to show you just here in a little bit as well because it's pretty cool um, so um, so from here on I can select the same rectangle here um, if I hide that and I bring this up here that's the rectangle I can create another wall and this wall um, I can tell it to be also um, one meter tall and I can offset it from the ground uh, by uh, let's say two meters all right two millimeters two meters all right where did you go um let's see okay from the ground let's see here's the z see if i put one here what happens uh no that's not quite it oh, i think it's in the placement okay position so i can bring it up by um, two meters off the ground like that so I'm going to clear the offset here because I'm not sure what I moved there oh I think I know it's the it's for the walls it's for the multi-layer walls so that's the wall I can bring it back to the other wall so here you can see that I have a window very easily and so I have some walls that still retain their wall properties and so they can be altered at will so if I were to let's say um, change this angle this rectangle here um, as you can see here I could probably have the need to modify it uh, go to the you know to the draft um, the edit and then I can let's say select that node and I probably wanted to move it here as you can see I can update um, the drawing very fast this way so that's a good way to keep control of certain features um, so I can finish that and I can tweak that back again put it back to where it was and snap it there right that's good so finish that and that's it and so for the window okay so for the window what I can do is I can select this face I want to create a very generic window without using uh, the window tool that's available here and I'll tell you why here in a little bit when I show you the second example but I want to um, I want to just model everything in a generic way just in a basic way just like I did for the for the walls as well um, so I'm going to select that face and then select put the face right there and then here I'm going to come here select the rectangle drag my little box there it's looking nice and I am going to select the same box and offset a copy of it by probably 50 mil or what let's say 40 mil is good enter and then I'm going to break this actually 
I can copy this guy copy and paste him so I'm gonna hide this I'm gonna reuse it for glass later and this this and this I'm going to cut a hole there just like that and then I'm going to extrude I have to change the face so I'm going to go back to and select this face and I'm going to take that and I'm going to extrude that right there like that and that's a nice one the frame very simple one so I'm going to bring back this glass here and I'm going to the only thing I'm going to do to that is give it a panel tool which is just give it going to give it a gentle thickness that I can control I can tell it to be let's see it's already 10 millimeters I'm going to tell it to be 30 millimeter thick okay so now that this is a panel I want to make it lose its property of panel so I'm going to downgrade or explode it, the object into basic solid and uh, I can't really see what's going on so I'm gonna go to wireframe select that and then grab this and move him from its center um, it's not snapping where I wanted to snap it's probably because I'm on the wrong face so I want to be on this face for example okay and wireframe take that snap it from its center and snap it to that center as simple as that and go back to wireframe or flat lines and so that's a window so now I can name this rename window glass and this extrusion I can explore this extrusion and turn it into a simple frame as well just like this which gives me this simple solid I can call this window frame just like that I can get rid of um, the tool that I use to create those shapes just like that and you too so now I want to probably give this a uh, little color just so I can easily recognize what it is and this as well the little light blue color and probably make this transparent by 80 degree 80 percent and I have a nice looking window so now that I have a window there like that um so what I can do is I can probably put that window everywhere I want so everywhere there's a need for window probably here and here and here the kitchen and the bathroom so what I can do is I can copy uh, the wall as well copy the second wall copy the window um, well I'm gonna create a folder create group rename window and I'm gonna put these two guys in there like this so I can select these walls and I'm also going to select the rectangle because I want um, the rectangle to generate the same walls or maybe not I can just lose this I can lose the property of the wall for example I can uh, just yeah maybe clone the wall okay why not so I'm going to select that face so I have something to snap on and I'm going to select these two walls I'm going to clone them like this this is their clones and I'm going to drag them right here like that very simple 
and I'm going to clone them again and drag them right here just like that and I'm going to create a new folder rename wall and then I'm going to just select all these walls that I'm creating and move them in there which is this wall again that's that okay I want this 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 all in here perfect okay so now we need to talk about the doors actually I haven't finished fixing the windows so now I can select this to glass and just basically do the same thing copy it from here select that and check the copy and drag right here select that and drag from here there okay now we're starting to have something that looks interesting um, so let's hypothetically say that um, I'm going to put the plane down to, to the ground let's hypothetically say that you wanted to design some kind of interesting feature right on the edge of this wall maybe this wall was thick and this wall was a bit thinner so one way that you can do that for example is I can I can hide this and hide this and hide this hide this and right here where I have my previous drawing instead of modifying this current uh, this current um, rectangle which controls the size of the 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 walls so I'm going to um, go to selection it's called rectangle 041 maybe I'm going to rename that window rectangle not window wall Um, let's test this real quick I'm gonna see if it's gonna change the the clone objects as well so let's try that I'm going to go to the edit and I'm going to grab you there and maybe I'm going to snap you here cool it did change the, the clone so if I want to fix that go back to the top view view perspective move that there now I have some boxes that's cool it does update real time and move that there see this is why the location of the base object is very important here right there looks very cool um, finish that edit again and move that here and move that here finish actually this one too okay finish now everybody, everything's fixed so now the previous example is okay let's say you had already drawn this shape in and you probably don't want to change that but you wanted to draw something else in um, so I could say that my new wall has an offset 
of a few meal from the inside offset that like this probably probably has an offset of let's say 25 millimeters and I draw another line here with the same offset 25 millimeter all right so now I can redraw a rectangle here false okay so I'm gonna draw a rectangle now let me go to view perspective okay so I can snap right here and snap right here so I can call this new rectangle window thin wall okay so so that now where are those hidden walls let me bring this guy and then uh, these walls okay something just happened Okay, so instead I'm going to just, um, so instead of changing that by changing the base drawing, what I can do is I can change and substitute the base drawing. So I'm going to select that wall and here you can see that the base drawing is window wall. So in the property here, I'm going to come here to say base and, I'm, and here where it says window wall. I'm going to check that and come and select the new window wall thing that I drew and it does update the wall as we see here this is something very very cool this is what allows you to make changes extremely fast once everything is in the right position you can see that all the clone also behave the same way so now I have to do the same thing for the stop wall as well in the wall in and everybody's happy and so now I have some interesting features where this walls can be you know maybe a different texture wall I don't know for some aesthetic purposes uh, let's maybe give it some kind of dark bluish whatever color like this it's looking cool okay enough about that um, oh I'm forgetting I have another window to add this guy okay so who's gonna be the clone I'm gonna do the same thing select that face check these two walls and then clone them move this guy do not copy okay I'm going to re-update your color again didn't work I'm not sure why and how this acquired the color maybe I selected them all together but I'm sure there's a way that the colors are linked all right so do that perfect and as well the windows
OK. So copy that. I'm so used to the copy command when I could have also just cloned these windows, but it's the same thing anyways. So now that we have our windows, I'm just going to nicely organize everything that's going on here. Uh, put the windows in the windows and the walls in the walls. Okay, now close that. Actually, hide this. Okay, everything is looking good. Clean folders. I can delete these lines. And that's the previous wall. I can delete you too. We don't need you anymore. Okay. So now I can probably uh, do the doors now. So for the doors, um, it's going to be the same concept. Um, I probably want the door as 2.1 meters tall, or let's say just two meters, just to make it align with the window height. Um, so that means I can draw a rectangle here as well. like this create a wall architecture workbench wall tell it to be one meters high and see the data one meters tall like this and to move off the ground for about two meters looking good looking good it's a very small door I'm like me I'm gonna make a good door I'm gonna say 2.1 so that means that this is gonna be 0 0.9 like that okay perfect so I'm going to clone you as well I'm gonna create one, two, three, four clones. One, two, three, four. Okay. So clone number one. I'm going to move you here. Clone number one. Move right here. Check that. Clone number two. there to here clone number three right there and then I'm gonna rotate you by 90 degrees perfect and I think I have one more clone which does not need to be there delete that guy and there you go now we can also probably give it a little bit of color to it as well just like the rest So the door is basically going to be the same thing, the same idea. Um, so I'm going to select that face, drop a face there, check a rectangle, rectangle, like this. I'm going to offset that, copy and offset. 50 mil like this and then probably close this edges off so I can have something to work with I 
Now in this instance, instead of uh, extruding, I'm actually going to draw the shape out. I'm going to take that uh, polyline tool, start from this corner, check that, check, check, check. Check, check, and check. Okay, so I can select that guy now. And make sure the plane is on the purple is on the plane parallel to the direction of extrusion. And select this the wire and then extrude by this much. And uh minimize the object and I'll call this door frame the frame <coughs> now I can create the the door frame itself um, what's a good way to do that I'm going to um, offset this line again. Uh, make sure the plane is selected. Offset the plane. Offset right here. And copy that. How much do I want to offset that? Uh, maybe uh, make it thick. So 100 mil. Enter. All right, so in this instance, we can select this face and this other face and create a bunch of hole. Mm, uh, what does our hole look like? No, that's not the right body. Let me hide this frame. And let me hide this guy. Well, I'm going to actually copy this copy and paste so now I can select this guy and this guy and create a nice hole just like that and I can uh, give it a thickness with the panel tool uh, come to the data here and uh, thickness probably 30 maybe uh, 50 as well it's a very strong door okay now what about my glass bring back this face and give it a thickness as well of uh, maybe 30 20 or 30 it's good enough okay so I'm just gonna downgrade the shapes a little bit as you can see it loses the panel property to it so now uh, I'm going to make this a glass as well and uh, transparency to 50 or 80 and this one is gonna be my wooden frame and I'm going to align them together so in this instance I'm going to select this face and go to the wire so I can see what's going on select this guy check that from the center and move that there let's see what happened flat lines Okay, I have a solid here. Who is that? Let me just delete that. And anyways, I have my glass here. 
not quite to the center, let me fix that. Wireframe, select that. Move that onto the side. Wireframe. Flood line, what's going on? Okay, what is this? I have two glass. Strange effect. Okay, delete that. Stop the confusion. One, two. This is not exactly what I expected. Okay. I am going to fix that. Um, I'm going to extrude that down. Like this. Could be an interesting draw with that kind of interesting uh, metal ring there. Let's see what it looks like for now. Um, so wireframe actually let me change the the plane of execution. Okay. Wireframe. So now I can select this. Move that to the center. Oh, it keeps copying. Delete that. Okay. So now I have a uh, uh, flat lines. I don't really like that. Don't look like a conventional door. So I'm just going to redo that. So I'm going to put the face there again. Um, just draw two rectangles. Oops, I crashed. So I sort of crashed and it brought us slightly behind. So as you can see, this is what the recovery manager brought me back with. So um, as you can see, I'm just missing the window that the door that we were working on. Uh, let me just try to quickly create one once again. Uh, so let's go back to the architecture. Let's like put the face right there. Um, And then I'm going to draw a square rectangle. Very good. And I'm going to make this a fault so I can see. I'm going to offset that by copy and offset that by 50. 15 mil copy just like that so I can select that rectangle and this one and then create a hole it didn't work because this guy is wireframe make face true and then select that and that create a hole No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. I wanted to create the main frame, so I have to let this here. One way that I can do that instead of tweaking, I can select this face, go to its edit. And then move it down here. Let's see what happens. Off 
it. Copy. Fifteen mil. Enter. Okay. Select this guy, edit, and bring the node back up here. Finish. So I can do it in the Boolean fashion. So select this face, select that. Grab this guy, extrude him, by that much, and then grab this other person, extrude him slightly in this direction, and then select that face, and extrude it in this direction, good, so now I want to select this and select that and what happens if I cut it this way there you go I have my shape I can delete this guy he's not useful anymore what about here I still need to create the window frame the door frame so this we're gonna just going to give you a brown color. And then I'm going to rename the frame. Okay. like this good select that top view I'm going to grab it from here snap it here well I'm gonna create a clone in this time instead of copy once again so clone because the clone maintains the property so clone I'm probably gonna snap it from the top reference so clone copy uh, move clone move do not copy check that move that create another clone move that so on and now we have to create our glass So offset this once again. Make sure the face is right. The working face, select that. Copy that once again by one hundred mil. Okay copy paste okay so you are going to be my glass architecture panel make that 20 mil 
20 mil good enough undo that and make that the glass 80 good so now hide this check this I need to edit this delete that delete that select that draft edit move that here of course it moved here good finish that select select puncture and now I can give the panel property to it going to make it 50 mil thick 50 okay looking good let's bring back our glass let's undo this shape let's call this glass frame rename G frame and this will be door glass rename D glass okay change that color a little bit we are in business Let's file save okay now change the plane a little bit top view wireframe I want to move some folks here do not copy move that to the side press shift to constrain on that axis and make sure I can clearly see which line I'm trying to snap to so it's this cent it's the center point to the center point so I'm gonna select that move that check the center point and move to the center point there you go so now I want to see what that looks like and I want to snap this to the center point there so I'm gonna come down select this face make sure the plane is set to that face so select both objects the glass and the door and move them from the center point to the center point and we have a door that we can duplicate and it's a sort of door that doesn't have any side or direction or swing so you can always give it a new direction of swing um, copy that this time copy snap and copy from here to here bingo and there you go we have a door we have our doors and everything looking good file save so now creating the floss is very simple um, it's just creating some basic slabs uh, so to do that you just go to the top view I like to work with um, the orthographic view and all you simply do is just draw the boxes around the various shapes like so um, here I'm just gonna draw a polyline one two three four five and six there you go here I will do the same thing to draw around this the ego except that using this strategy allows this kinds of holes so maybe you want to slab that just 
flows all the way but maybe this is like the floor tiles or something but the initial slab uh, is all underneath all of this uh, like this just draw a box around this like this okay so this is a slab I can give it a thickness give it a structure thickness um, probably uh, that's too thick I want it to be 20 0.02 meters thick like this and for this interior uh, slabs I can make them very thin I want uh, this panel let me change to normal of the panel uh, go back put one here okay so those are my floor tiles let me try to see if I can subdivide this into work subdivide that's a D wire it won't work delete yes delete that too but for um, a square it will work so rectangle so let's say I wanted to create some tiles I can um, come here increase the number of rows and the number of columns uh, more rows I like guess it's looking good now I wonder what happens when I tell it now to be a um, to be a panel panel and I'm going to change the normal once again put one here and there you go I have um, <laughs> I have some panels that's interesting and I have some floor tiles change the color of those floor tiles make it blue okay it's looking good probably change this to 0 0.5 milli in terms of thickness so maybe this is uh, five. Good. It's looking good. So this is how you, this is a good strategy to create tiles. Uh, so you can put tiles in the windows, in the kitchen, and all that stuff. So basically, that's how you do that. The 3D is very simple. And the same. Uh, the same um, profile that allowed me to draw the base I could use it to draw the roof as well but maybe I want the roof to cover this whole thing so what I can do is I can go to the top view again I'll make sure my snap is there I can create a um, rectangle which is going to serve me as a column I, I want the, the size of the rectangle to be we are going to assume 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 like this pretty thick um, go to orthographic select that and simply move him into position like this delete this and go to perspective and 
I'm going to make it a column this column is going to be three foot tall maybe it's too thick so I'm going to edit uh, the rectangle I'm going to make it um, three by three like this hide this bring that out and move him to the side move him where he belongs like this hide that and bring the column back so now we have a very nice column um so i'm going to just color this a little bit to make it demarcate the interior slab with the exterior slab probably give it this kind of reddish color like this uh, what happened ah, didn't change color not sure why okay so now I can draw the outside slab but I'm gonna draw the roof first um, I want the roof to have a gentle offset of probably 0 0.5 meters so I can use this line offset this copy offset that by 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 meters okay so this will be the outline of my roof um, instead of uh, dash lines I want solid lines here and I do not want a face so this face falls I'm gonna take it to the right location at uh, the placement of position 3 meters tall like this so that's gonna serve me as roof and I'm going to just make a slab like this and my slab I'm gonna give it a slightly a very tiny uh, thickness 0 0.2 just like that and I'm going to use the same uh, rectangle to create the parapet wall so let's bring that up so you can see what's going on so I'm going to select that line again and I'm going to create a wall so it creates this nice wall as you can see the line is at the center so I want it to be uh, left not right justified right justified so there you go and I want it to be a very short parapet wall so I want it to be uh, 0 0.4 there you go I can bring back this the roof slab and you can see what it looks like and obviously you can see it's still into the roof slab so I'm going to offset this parapet, parapet wall placement position by 0.2 meters there you go so now I have a parapet wall still one thing missing uh, this exterior looks like crazy uh, so view perspective is starting to look interesting um, so go to the top view view perspective view actually perpendicular view I want to go to wireframe mode and I want to draw the outline of this exterior much better so 
I probably want to offset this by last time one meter I'm gonna do one meter this time okay and just like before make this a subtle line and I'm going to get the interior boundaries of the exterior so starting from here one two three four five six seven eight nine okay those are my boundaries so I want this outside rectangle to subtract this boundary that's what we have let me show you shade it this is what we have and now I can tell this to also be a slab uh, make a structure slab and it's offsetting in the wrong direction so I select the slab and I'm going to change the I'm going to change the normal value where it says 1 I'm going to put 1 here actually it's negative 1 just like that and also change the thickness the height 0 0.2 just like that just like that and viewport perpendicular and that's how you have um, the basic 3d model of a, of a house I hope you enjoyed it so leave me a comment and uh, thank you and see you on the next video